doing just fine before I met you. Drink too much and that's an issue, but I'm okay. Hey, you saw your friends, it was nice to meet them. Welcome back to my channel. It is that time of year. It is summer and it is Christmas. That's why I have my beautiful little Christmas tree up on my closet here. And it is summer. So guys, it is time for fun in the sun. And I decided to start a summer series where I will be doing a bunch of videos all about summer. I'm going to do sunburn, makeup, traveling, everything you need to know for the summer. So if you guys like that idea, then please give it a big thumbs up and leave some comments on what type of summer videos you guys would like to see. And also comment down below how your vacation is going, how your Christmas is going to be. And very merry merry Christmas to you guys. The World Health Organization reported that between 2 and 3 million skin cancers occur globally every year. South Africa has the second largest incident of skin cancer in the world because we do hit temperatures of over 40 degrees Celsius. That's over 104 degrees Fahrenheit. Skin cancer is the most common cancer in South Africa with over 20,000 reported cases every year and 700 deaths. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you guys a bunch of tips and hacks on how to prevent sunburn and how to protect yourself from the sun and the risks of skin cancer. So if you guys would like to see those tips and hacks, then please keep on watching. Okay guys, of course I'm going to start out with the most basic, which is your outer wear. So when you are out in the sun, you do want to wear a nice hat to just cover up your face if your face has very, very sensitive skin. So you want to have something that can cover your face. It doesn't have to be a huge hat like this one. Of course, this room is absolutely huge, so you can always go for just a bit of a smaller room or even just a plain old cap if you don't like to wear wind sunglasses. Then guys, your sunglasses, and I know this has nothing to do with your skin, but I wanted to just throw it in there because your eyes are also extremely sensitive to the sunlight, so you also want to wear your sunglasses just to protect your eyes from the sun. Okay guys, and then what you wear over your skin. So I have such a pale and fair skin, I burn extremely quickly, so what I usually do is I go when I swim or whatever, I don't tan at all, I have given up on tanning on me brown legs because I cannot tan, I burn and I burn very sore and then within a week the red is gone and I'm just pale all from the start so I've just given up on the tanning but what I usually do is I would go and swim and I would just have fun but the minute I get out of the water I would even though we have an umbrella or shade or anything I would immediately put on a shirt over my shoulders because my shoulders and my chest burn extremely easily so I would always just throw on a shirt or something that just covers it up, even a tummy or something that can just cover up these parts of me that burn the quickest. Okay guys, then moving on to sunscreen. I know this is very obvious, but a bunch of people don't really know why sunscreen is so important. Obviously it protects you from the rays because it has UVA and UVB protection. And when you shop for your sunscreens, you want something that has a SPF 15 or higher. Now, I go no lower than 30 SPF because I do burn so easily. But 
you just always want to have a sunscreen on your skin you can go very light like SPF 15 or maybe SPF 10 if you want to tan but it is extremely important to protect your skin against that harmful rays and you also want to make sure that your sunscreen has ingredients in it like um, avobenzone, oxybenzone, titanium dioxide, zinc oxide, those type of things because they all contribute to blocking out the sun. So I have got two um, sunscreens here. I have both of from Flex, they are the Sun Protect. One is for wet skin and one is just the normal one. The normal one is SPF 30. It's a continuous spray, water resistant, dermatologically approved, um, non resi continuous spray at all angles. It's got UVA and UVB protection and it has the little Canva logo there. And then the one for wet skin is SPF 50 Swim and Sport Spray. Water resistant, transparent, and use on wet and dry skin. Dermatology approved, UVA, UVB protection, and also have the little cancer logo right there. So I always have both of these. I use both of them on our vacation the other day. So what I would do is on my legs or where I want just a bit more tan, I would use 30, and then all over the rest I would use the 50 as well as my face. I just usually just spray it in my hand over my face and then I'm good to go. Okay guys, so this next one is very random. I didn't know this, but it makes sense. You need to eat your greens. Things like kale, spinach, cauliflower and broccoli, um, lettuce and herbs. You need to stock up on those because they are filled with antioxidants. And antioxidants work to improve your body's natural defense against the sun and the UV rays. So you want to make sure that you take in a lot of greens before you go on your big summer vacation or just in general just to protect yourself to help those antioxidants just to prevent the UVAs to harm your skin. Okay guys and then this last one is also something that I think a lot of people just look over but it does make so much sense and I was really impressed when I read this because it does make so much sense. So you need to stock up on your vitamin D. So what happens when you go out in the sun for like tanning or when you're out in the garden or whatever, your body produces melanin. It acts as a protective shield against the UV rays. So if you stock up on your um, vitamin D before you go on your vacation, you already have a head start of a protective shield that will protect your skin against the UV rays. So you can take vitamin D supplements or you can just every day before you go away you can just quickly go stand in the sun for a few minutes, just get some fresh sunlight and then your body will already start producing that melanin and form that protective shield. But you can use vitamin D supplements on their own or you can even find them in just a plain natural uh, multi-vitamin. So this is the Vital Gold Ultimate A to Z Multi Plus. So it has a bunch of good things in here, a bunch of vitamins, and then it has the vitamin D right there. So if you take a multivitamin vitamin every day, you will also be getting that good vitamin D and just protect your skin. Okay guys, but that is it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoy this and I really do hope that you guys will use it this summer and just use it on your vacations and just take it to head and remember these things and please share it with your family and your friends so that we can just help to improve the skin cancer rate because it is so bad that so many people walk around not knowing how skin cancer can occur and not taking care of their skins so please take these things to heart to head to family spread it out make sure that everyone around you knows how they can protect their skin and just make sure there are no risks of skin cancer of course there's always a risk we are always in the sun and with global warming it is just getting harder and harder but we must just improve our skincare routines and just make sure that on our side we are protected as much as we can i really hope you guys enjoyed that, that video please give it a big thumbs up if you did don't forget to subscribe before you leave and like i said in the intro please comment down below how you guys felt about this and i will be doing another video on sunburn treatment for if you 
did forget, like I always did, forgot to put on your sunscreen or whatever and you've got a really bad burn then I will be giving you a bunch of tips and hacks on how to just treat that sunburn fast and make it a lot less painful and a lot less red which we all want after a good sunburn. So stay tuned if you guys want to see this and I will see you guys in my next summer series video. Cheers!